Hey, it's Pastor Joe time for our e-blast. Uh, Sunday was awesome, by the way. Just a quick re report and review of Sunday services. Uh, it was good attendance, especially for our July 4th weekend. And again, more faces back. It seems that each week more and more people are coming back into service. So it's good to see that. It's a fun, exciting to be back in church all together, uh, rejoicing and worshiping the Lord together. So they were really awesome services. And if you weren't there uh, out of town or whatever, get back in church this coming Sunday. It's going to continue to be awesome and continue to be good. Sunday, July 4th, hallelujah, we preached on uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Talked a little bit about the history of our nation and uh, having an understanding that this nation was founded on Christian principles. Of course, uh, if you're familiar with what's going on in the world of education and the news, the media, you know that much of that history is being rewritten according to the thinkers of the present day. And unfortunately, it's not being written out correctly. And many people are believing what the media tells them. And again, what the educational systems tell us. They want to do with a uh, kind of an anti-American sentiment that, that is in our world today. You know, most of us are familiar with the, uh, the, the, the Declaration of Independence. At least if you haven't read it, you ought to be. 56 men signed that declaration. 52 of those men acknowledged being believers, uh, ortho, believed in the orthodox principles of Christianity. Uh, there were about three others who believed, uh, uh, not necessarily as a Christian, uh, but had a, pretty much a theistic view of life. They did believe that there was a God and that he was created and, and divinely intervened in the affairs of man. And so uh, I'd encourage you to take a look at that. I talked about Patrick Henry briefly, that he's the man who at least they have life, liberty, you know, give me freedom or give me death was a statement. But uh, in making a contextual uh, reference to Patrick Henry, to the message, the idea was that these men understood that America... Uh, gave a freedom and a platform to people to preach, to speak, to believe as they felt led to believe. Those men were Christians for the most part. They did open the country to the new founding of this great new America to all religious systems and all belief. But I want you to hear what Patrick Henry said in the context when he said, give me liberty or give me death. Here's what he actually said. An appeal to arms and the God of hosts is all that's left us. But we shall not fight our battle alone. There is a just God who presides over the destinies of the nations. The battle, sir, is not to the strong alone. If is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of change and slavery, forbid it, almighty God. I know what course others may take, but it's for me. Give me liberty or give me death. Now, the following year, he made this statement. It cannot be emphasized too strongly or too often that this great nation was founded not by religionists, but by Christians, not on religions, but on the gospel of Jesus Christ. For that reason alone, people of other faiths have been afforded the freedom to worship here in this nation. So understanding uh, those basic principles would help us understand the, the, the context of American freedoms and liberty, the ability to pursue to, of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness comes from the fact that this was founded as a Christian nation with that kind of freedom. All those framers and believers, if you follow the writings later on, for the most part, 52 of the 56, 53, I believe that that pursuit of happiness would end up in a an, in knowledge and an acknowledgement that Jesus Christ is the ultimate Savior, and it is from Him who comes life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Many people are in a pursuit of happiness, but it's they're running down all the wrong paths. I want to just play a brief clip, maybe a minute and a half, from a sermon that I preached Sunday morning. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can go to our Facebook page, or you can go to the YouTube channel, see the whole sermon if you weren't part of the service. But until then, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you Sunday. we got VBS coming up at the Magnolia campus. We have a distribution for clothing and, and school supplies coming up at the Spring campus soon. So pay attention to what's going on. God bless you. We love you. I'll talk to you Sunday. True liberty, this is the way it comes. Isn't it interesting today in the culture that most people don't think of liberty and Jesus Christ in the same context at all? We think of liberty, well, I'm going to be 18, and when I get 18, I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave home, or I'm 21. You know, I can legally buy beer now. Boy, I'm free. I'm at liberty to do whatever I want to do. And on and it goes, I'm going to live the way I want, sleep with who I want, act the way I want, say what I want. I'm free. That's not freedom. And the more you indulge in that kind of mindset, all right, of hedonism is really what it's called in Scripture, the more you indulge yourself in that, the less liberty you find. The more you open your life up to these, what the world would call vices, now they welcome, they don't even call them that anymore, but the more you open your life up to the pursuit of what Scripture re refers to as sin, 
then the more in bondage you become. The more you give yourself over to those things, which people say, this is where the life is. I get to do this now. I can do that now. I can do this. And you just break free from every restraint. The more bondage you find yourself in, the more addiction you, you find yourself in, and the deeper, deeper, deeper in bondage you go in your life. It's not liberty there in that pursuit. Jesus comes to set us truly free. And most people don't understand that until they get so much, so deep in bondage, they don't think there's any hope for life or liberty at all. If the sun sets you free, if the sun liberates you, it says in the Amplified, if the sun liberates you, makes you free men, then you are really and unquestionably free.